Hey what's up guys, this is Ton Ton here and welcome back to my channel. So we just got a review image of the MPM-12 which like my prediction has been the Transformer movie masterpiece Optimus Prime from the movie Bumblebee. So I have made a video about the prediction of this figure so if you want to check that out first then I'm gonna leave the link it's down in the description below. So now let's have a talk about this guy. Here we got some image of him so as you can see first is I'm gonna talk about the colors. So the color choice here are the same old Optimus Prime color scheme but this time I feel like it got off to the wrong foot. Because the thing with this Optimus Prime is they're gonna make him a movie version, a more realistic version than the G1 counterpart. So as a result, they uh, try to remove all the white thighs and white joint and they chose to use a grey color on it, just like with the old studio series. But the thing here is that the problem, I got the problem with the blue. So in my opinion, the color blue is way too bright for this guy right here. So it looks kind of cheap and the level of details, to be honest, from my masterpiece figure, I was expecting more and this quite disappoint me. And one more thing that I learned from this picture is about the forearms. And to be honest with you, I'm really disappointed about this. We all know that the SS38 got the problem of having the windshield and everything tucked into the forearms. And I was hoping that they're gonna resolve this problem with the masterpiece version. But this is what we got. They leave the windshield all the same. And to be honest, I'm quite disappointed at this point. Then next is the truck mode. And this is just the same old G1 truck, except for why he has a thing looks like cat ears or something like that, which is kind of odd to me. And then I'm gonna show you this next picture of the behind the truck. And this is where I feel like this figure is a stretch. To be honest with you, this truck bed is a mess. I can clearly see the robot thighs and I can clearly see the one leg armor. It feels like they don't even try. And here's my problem with this right here. I'm pretty sure that the front leg armor will be painted and from this point and the way the gun is attached in the truck, it at in times it will create pen tripping problem. And then it will be really hard to preserve this. I don't know why they chose to went with this kind of design. Other than that, the paint is excellent. I don't have any to complain about the paint. Then next we have a picture of him standing up and this is where things getting worse like I said. Because of the blue they chose to use, the hands looks really cheap to me. And of course you can still got some really nice mechanical details here and there. But at this point, I feel like this. If you chop away the individual parts, like you chop away the legs and the arms, they gonna look really perfect. But you put all of them together, so it feels like a mess to me. Then next we got what is appears to be the highlight of this figure, except for the gun. And it will be the Matrix of Leadership. This is the G1 and I was hoping that they would be made out of diecast metal. I hope so. And one more thing about the head now, this is kind of odd to me because the Travis Knight design head and so they chose to use the lighter color than the Studio Series version. But in my opinion, I would prefer the Studio Series version color than this one over here. Because the thing with the Travis Knight design is that you got a large mask section unlike the Michael Bay design which you have a pointed out mask design. This one is like really flat and so by the choice of using the light color, it will be easy to show. So like he got a feelings. I got a feelings of he got a really wide face, you know. And the forehead is kind of odd as well. It looks shallower than the studio series versions, and his ears is are also longer. So this is really weird. I'm not sure this is what Optimus looked like in the movie. So to be honest, I would prefer the studio series version head more than this one. Then we just got some more action poses, and that is about it. So what can I say about this figure? I mean, this is an Optimus Prime we were looking for for a long time because the third party has been doing this for a long time. And so, to be honest, this is not what I expected from Takara and Hasbro. I was expecting some with more transformation steps and the better details. And the accessories is also quite low in my opinion. So if what I see, this is all we get. So we got two accessories. First is the gun and then we have the matrix of leadership. So that's just about it. And I really look forward to have this figure in my hand and do the review for you guys. So that will be it for today. Thanks for catching up. Subscribe if you are new. Tell me what you think of this guy in the comment section below. And follow me on Instagram. And also if you feel like you can help me out with the future figures, Feel free to buy me a coffee. Link is in the description below. Tong tong out.